Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to impersonate a student account. So once you log into your account you'll see all of the classes for which you are a teacher. I'm going to be using my grade 8 math class as an example but you can use this feature on any of your classes. So I'm going to come down to my grade 8 math class card here and the first thing to do is to click on the wheel icon to access the class settings. So let's do that. You should note that this wheel icon is available on any of the pages once you click into your class card. It's always in the upper right hand corner of the screen and you can access this page at any time. So on this class settings page I can see I have my roster, all of the students in my grade 8 math class all listed here and to the very right of each student's name is this little two-person icon. Clicking on that opens up the student's view of their account. So you're essentially seeing what the student sees when they log in. Please note that this is not a real-time view of what the student is working on, but it does give you a view of each of the student's tabs. This can be particularly helpful when asking students to navigate from one page to another, or if they need assistance finding an assignment you've posted. So let's look at Simon's account. I'm going to click on the little two-person icon and the window that pops up is Simon's class view. So again, this is what Simon sees when he logs into his account. I can see Simon's class activities page so I can direct him to this page if he's struggling to find the CFU I posted on solving unit rate problems. I can direct him to this page. I can see Simon's learning journey as if I were him, so I can see what he's been working on and what he was most recently working on. I can also view Simon's My Proficiency tab, which is his skyline. Additionally, I can view the suggestions that have been made to Simon, either by the teacher, me, or by the system. And I can also view notifications. To exit, just click the X in the upper right-hand corner. So let's try that one more time. We can use Monica's account. I'm going to click on the little two-person icon to the right of her name, and I get her class view. So again, I can see the class activities page that she sees when she logs in. I can see her learning journey. I can click into the learning journey. So while I can't make any actual changes to the account, you can click in to get a better view, just as if you were the student themselves and I can click on the proficiency tab to see the student's skyline. To leave this, I'm going to click the X in the upper right hand corner and that brings me back to my roster. This feature is available at all times and again, while it does not provide a real-time view of what the student is working on, it is very helpful when asking students to navigate or helping them find assignments that you've posted. 